been a challenge the last uh, the last week has been uh, hard. Uh, you know, you get excited about playoffs around the corner. Uh, for us, we a lot of guys needed to step up and and uh, play in different situation and roles with guys being injured, guys being out. And uh, I thought guys did really well, I, like uh, Jacking coming in and not only scoring goals but playing playing the right way and winning battles and doing little little things right. So uh, kudos to him. Uh, our game tonight was all about our, our overages. Uh, if we look at Plando, Trenny, and uh, Boots, uh, you know they, they led the way throughout the season by their work ethic, their enthusiasm every game, every practices. They come in, they're a joy to be around. Um, they commit themselves to the queue uh, a few years back, and uh, we just wanted a committed game from, from all our our forwards and D's, and I thought their guys played engaged tonight. It's something you gotta you gotta deal with, and and it seems every season, you know, especially the last month is is really hard on on players, and um, we, you know you lose uh, some key guys, especially on the left side with Loshing getting out and and uh, Gabe uh, early in the second, and uh, but that's that's why you have all the you know extra players and guys that that need to step up and fill in roles and you learn a lot about your team at this time and uh, we gave opportunities yesterday to players and and some some did well some didn't do so so good but it's it's only one game so we've got a we're gonna have some a couple days of practice uh, rest and then and then practices to to get ready for a playoff uh, next opponent uh yeah it was good game the boys it was a close one too close for comfort at the end there but we pulled away and got the two points I'm just trying to help out the boys, be an energy guy uh, for the top lines, but the coach gave me a shot today and put me with uh, Sumphy and Merce, and I think we played well. Uh, yeah, after the game in uh, Halifax, uh, Dave and Richie Tebow came up to me and asked how I'd like to join the Wildcats for the remainder of their year, and I was, I was a little sad because we just finished our season, but I was really pumped and excited for the opportunity they are giving me. Yeah, I'll be definitely be more physical, be faster, but I think I just gotta play my game, and uh, I think it'll be good. Well, the, the, you know, having a, a player come up, and it's happened with Schlender, and and same with uh, Hainer that that just came in. Uh, they're not totally unfamiliar to us. They, they might be the coaching staff because we haven't uh, seen them this year, but our, our scouting staff has. And, and then in practice, we see a lot of things in practice. So uh, the instincts, the battle level, the compete level, the hockey smarts is something that you can, you can pick out. Uh, the compete level is, is a non-negotiable and you, you got to be able to battle for 50-50 pucks. And when you see, I, I, you know, I saw Jack in going in against uh, Rollins, who's 6'6", six, six, and uh, Jack's not the biggest player, but he, he came in to win his battles and get underneath him. And, and didn't shy away, so that's a real good sign for the future. The thing, like you want players to come in and, and show their their best assets, and if you if we overcoach them when they come in, they're gonna they're gonna freeze a little bit. So we want to play that. We want them to play loose and play free. Try to simplify as much as we can. Give them some some guidelines and some, some structure on faceoffs and forecheck and uh, some some more concepts than than uh, a real game plan. So. They go out, they play, they've played a full season, being having success at their lower level uh, for a reason, and we want them to bring those same tools to, to our team.